were just talking about something here. I want to I want to speak uh, uh, my piece on this. Uh, Chris Dem on vacation this weekend and an anniversary. Yep, you sent me a very nice text. I told Biggie and these guys that was such a nice text about your wedding day, mm-hmm. and just to me, I said I think he typed in the wrong name on this. I think this was meant for somebody else, like a Christina or somebody uh, who was uh, there, you know. And then I just, I was so moved by that. It was just really nice. It was like 21 well, years ago, he's married. He was like, thanks for being there and everything. Well, every, really nice. every year, that I, I, heard, I thank you. Mm-hmm. And I, every year on the anniversary, I thank my brothers mm-hmm. because, as you know, one was my best man. The yes. other performed the ceremony. That's right. But you were there. That's right. And, you know, my wife and I were talking and because we got married in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful, a long way from though, anywhere. But really nice. Well, I know that, but yeah. people made an effort to get there. Yeah, yeah. So, right. and this year, I tried to thank everybody who showed up. Oh, so that's nice. You and mm-hmm. uh, our friend who did the readings, and you know, mm-hmm. my my nieces who were they were flower girls. They were six and four at the time. Now they're grown up. Yeah. And um, everybody wrote back except one. <laughs> one didn't write back. Middle brother. Me never. Oh, he never writes you back. How can that wow. be? I don't know. He How is he the do worst. That? I was so moved by. I I turned to my wife. I said, "Listen to this nice text that Chris Dim just sent me," and then I said, "I think he meant this for somebody else." Yeah. <laughs> no, well, that was a small wedding that party. Was remember? So nice. yeah. yeah. I said, "I don't know." I thought that was really nice. Now, see, my theory was what um, I do. Mm-hmm. I thought. You didn't want to send a group text because that's too impersonal, mm-hmm. but you just copy and pasted the same thing into every <laughs> no. single person. No, he's too, he's too, sent them he's, he's separate. Too, uh, what's the word? He's uh, he's not professional, but he's too uh, uh, not polite, but like yeah. uh, classy. He's too classy mm. for that. And he types it out to everyone individually. It's very, very nice. It was, it was just a quick note, but we were, mm. you know, I, I, I thought it was great. I try to be, mm-hmm. I try to practice gratitude. Yes. Well, that's exactly. I'm, I'm. I'm living. Don't. <laughs> All right. I think what you, Big is saying, go to the next page. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. anyway what, yeah, don't Chris, try to say I practice gratitude, too. We know that's a lie. <laughs> Chris Dim was vacationing in the high country of South Carolina. Yeah. We'd never been to that part of, of South Carolina. It's called, they call it the upstate. Yeah, the upstate. Um, but, you know, Greenville and its environs, mm-hmm. we're 35 minutes from mm-hmm. Dave's hometown. Mm-hmm. You could yeah. almost see yeah. Asheville on a clear day. Yeah. And the... Uh, Everybody talks about Greenville, South Carolina, how nice it is. It's we like, had a great time. Like a mini San Antonio with a river and everything. What yeah, I yeah. They've so, really embraced that. But listen to what Chris This is Here's my point. Chris Dim says that there was a store there selling a lot of uh, pro-Trump items. Mm-hmm. And I see that from time to time. That's fine. Sure. I, I have no problem with that at all. What I thought was a nice touch was mm-hmm. that when you pass it at street level, mm-hmm. they had the FJB sign. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, be me, mm. me being me, I yeah. kind of know what they're saying. Of course. But upon closer examination, it simply said, fire Joe Biden. It's a four letter F word. Right. But not that one. But if you want the real thing, out back. You go out back. <laughs> yeah, we got them. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, we got them. We're just not going to put them out. We're not going to offend the families yeah. as they drive uh, These by. are the kid sizes. Now, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. And I, listen, I'm not going to tell you who I'm voting for. I, I'm not. I look, I'm a Republican. I'll, I'll be upfront with that. But mm. I don't like. The coarseness in this country, like I don't like that there's a shirt that people wear that say the F word and Joe Biden. And I don't care who the president is. You know, to me, it's like you have a little respect for the office here where you don't, you can certainly think that and you can vote any way you'd like. You can campaign your heart out. But to have the F word across a shirt and then have the president's name underneath, I think it's an American. Mm. I just don't like that. You know, no matter who the president is, you know, whatever what I mean? hippie. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's, it's not un-American because I, honestly, that's like the essence of America. It, Correct. But, but, except I don't like the F word. You can just right. say, you know, you can, profane. you can put Joe Biden and have an X mark through him or mm-hmm. whatever. Or say, you know, I can't wait till it's over or don't blame me. I voted for Trump. All those mm-hmm. things. But just to say it out like F the president, I don't like it, and I don't care who the president is. It's mm-hmm. core. I just talked to my brother-in-law about it on Saturday. I said I don't like the coarseness where the country is right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, we disagree on everything, as you know. You know, we're and and nobody ever changes their mind. Mm-mm. I'll tell you this: a guy got to me on uh, over the weekend on Friday. We had talked about, uh, and now uh, really a couple of days, the college loans and how Biden was excusing a lot of the college loans. Mm-hmm. You know. And at first glance, I was completely against that. I thought that's, you know, you take a loan, nobody held a gun to your head, pay your loan. Yeah, the headline is right. what most people simply hear. Exactly. So a guy 
I don't even remember his name, wrote an email. I got a ton of emails on that. And one guy wrote a very long email, which I read, and said it's not that simple. The, the, the college uh, tuition has gone up you know, 200% in the last 20 years. Wages have gone up 6%. You, you have to have a bachelor's degree to get some of these jobs. They do not pay well. And then you're saddled with all this debt. And really, this was the right thing to do. One person even said, if we had seen the housing crisis come two years before it happened and bailed all those homeowners out, it would have been much better than what we went through. It would not have crushed the economy. And that's where that's what this might do. So I wrote back, totally flippant, get a loan, pay your bills, click, gone. And he wrote me back and said, how dare you be so flippant? Read what I wrote to you. Take it in. See what I said. And I reread it, and I thought, okay, he deserves more than a flippant response like that. And I said, okay, you make some good points. You know, what would you do? And then he wrote another. I mean, so hmm. impressive, you know. And it sounds like a non-course uh, exchange was. of ideas. It was. And then finally I said, you know, I, he deserves more than that flippant reply. And so, and he basically had me on his side by the end hmm. of it. You know, people who actually do some research – and can tell you something. I am not. A, I change my mind sometimes. You know, I can look at it and go, okay, I can mm-hmm. see where this is maybe the right thing to do. Most people, though, really dig in and will not change their minds on anything, which mm-hmm. we've discussed a couple of times. And then um, Christian said one of the shirts at this place said, uh, if you, it has American flag. Yep. And if said, this flag offends you, I'll help you pack. That's right. And I just, it spurred something in me to say, well, Ozzy Osbourne's moving out of America. He said, I'm, I'm tired of this. So Ozzy and Sharon said, I'm tired of the divisiveness of America. Good, beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Your music blows anyway. <laughs> yeah. You've been good Let since you left Sabbath. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why these celebrities keep announcing it. They're not. No one's going to be like, yeah, I'm with you, Ozzy. No. I mean, every we'll change, time. Ozzy. <laughs> We'll change if you yeah. just stay. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, go, beat it. Go back to England. Ozzy uh, says he's leaving. Sharon said it, too. They're all mm-hmm. there staying in England. Oh, you're leaving? Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, people say, with, oh, mama, I'm coming home. <laughs> go. <laughs> beat it. Well played, Biggie. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good one, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have Ozzy to kick around anymore. He says yeah. he didn't want to die on our soil. He says he wants to die over in England. No well, one he- wants him here dying anyway. <laughs> He said it's uh, due to the, the the gun violence, violence. in the U.S. Yeah, gun violence. He hates, and so he's ready to go back to England. And the reaction online has been exactly what Biggie has. Oh, just, yeah. He's just brought I was down. reading comments last night. Not one of them was like, best wishes, Ozzy. No. <laughs> yeah. I'll help you pack. Yeah. See, that's, to me, that's the coarseness in our... Yeah. You know, maybe somebody should have said, gosh... You make a good point here. Uh, maybe we should uh, mm-hmm. come together and try to do something about mm-hmm. this gun violence yeah. so we don't lose icons like Ozzy <laughs> to go back to his homeland. You know? Oh, geez, what are we going to do without you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Instead, it was yeah. get on out. It's beat it. Yeah. This, this, this is not really related to the, the gun issue. Is he still in the big house where they did the TV show or have they moved? Uh, I think they moved. I did see that they've had apparently their mansion up for sale for like $18 million for a while now, though. Oof. You can get a good deal on those mansions. Uh, well, someone, what, what, someone's uh, been Zillow shopping. Well, <laughs> and with these interest yeah. rates going up, uh-huh. I think you can finance at a lower. Uh, well, you, I'll tell you this: if you want to buy out of pocket, make a now, move. You want to make a move. All this cash. is part of my favorite part of the story. Is they're announcing they're leaving, mm. but not till like next year because their mansion over there is still being worked on. They're adding a in-ground pool. Oh, I see. And some other features. So they're basically saying like, you got six months. Mm-hmm. of us and then we're heading out okay and okay. then that's it then you won't have yeah. ozzy to kick around mm-hmm. him after about six months because... which i'm like don't why do you announce it this early yeah in fact why announce it why at all? announce it at all you can just leave if no, you, yeah, no, no one know. no one is ever going to react well to yeah. someone saying i'm leaving because of mm-hmm. insert yeah, yeah 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 yeah. no one is and you're right they could have left and who'd have batted an eye no you know, one who would have even known people would be like you know when he died mm-hmm. in 10 years they'd be like oh he was in england he was yeah. in england for a while well and they also announced like i guess that like all their kids are staying because their kids have basically grown mm-hmm. up here mm-hmm. and they're like take your kids too <laughs> it's like well, don't tell anyone they're staying and make their life harder. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Really, it just makes mm-hmm. it worse on Aren't the Aren't you Ozzy's kid? <laughs> <laughs> Won't you pack and go with them? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, you're exactly. You're right on all this. 
This is the chance for Chris Dem to do his uh, Johnny Depp impression. What what is he up to? He was at the Video Music Awards last night on MTV. Surprise was that appearance. A surprise guest? surprise appearance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now he hears what he did. He was in costume as Moon Man, as the uh, that's their logo. Oh, that's still their statue, Moon, like the astronaut. And they gave out the Moon Man statues last night. And he made a couple of appearances. Johnny, did, I guess, really voiceover uh, is what he did. It's one of those. It was a hologram. Okay. It was a hologram of his face. They had a mm-hmm. like a Moon Man dangling above the stage. I watched a little bit of it. You did, and I saw. I have little, all the winners. Good luck if you know any of them, because I sure as hell didn't. <laughs> oh, uh, I have all the can winners. you tell me what Grand Funk Railroad picked up this year? <laughs> I'll tell you, as I watched last night, I thought to myself, mm-hmm. I, I am officially getting old. Because, You're old. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, I I knew a few people. Well, but there was Taylor some... one. Taylor one. That's one of the few I know. I know. Uh, Taylor one for video of the year. And by the way, Taylor said last night she's got a new uh, album coming out in October. And the crowd went crazy. Oh, my God. Nobody knew it. I thought uh, she was into the secret album drop. Uh, usually she is, yeah. isn't she? She said, I think this would be a good time to let you know. And the crowd went, <gasps> And she said, I've got a new album in October. And they went, oh, my God. Oh my <laughs> Is it under our seats? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> we all get an advanced copy? No. No, yeah. no you don't. <laughs> but uh, what made me chuckle was mm-hmm. I just saw, I think it was CNN or, mm-hmm. you know, one of the, the sites that I just kind of clicked through mm-hmm. preparing for the program. <laughs> and I believe there's an artist, and I don't know his genre, mm-hmm. but uh, I believe his name is Young Gravy. <laughs> It is. <laughs> yes. And I, I thought to myself, have we run out of cool rap names? <laughs> I was unfamiliar with Young Gravy till last night. Uh-huh. And then I saw his performance mm-hmm. and his interview. Mm-hmm. And I looked up his song. Yes. His song is uh, the one that's blowing up is called Betty. Okay. It's uh, about Betty White. It's. It's about Betty White? Well, it's like a, an honor to Betty White because uh-huh. the song's about MILFs. He's really into MILFs. <laughs> In fact, he brought one with him. <laughs> really? His girlfriend is a uh, a good bit older than uh, him. I see. Really? Okay. Right. Yes. And uh, he said, uh, and it was a weird interview. The two of them back and forth. And he said, you know, I'm into milfs, and uh, I brought the hottest milf with me. No kidding. Ew. So he's dating a woman that's in. He's probably in his twenties. Okay. She's in her fifties. Okay. I may and, regret this, Biggie, but do you know the origin of the name? I do not, Young but Gravy. I'll tell you, mm. the song is catchy. You oh, like doggone it. it, I knew it. It <laughs> has a, uh, I'll see if I, I think it's clean enough, I'll look for it. But he uses kind of, uh, he remixes Never Gonna Give You Up by uh, uh, Rick Astley. Oh, all so right. all right. Like kind of plays off that, and he's, uh, uh, you know, but yes, I saw the name Young Gravy, and I said, I'm watching this. <laughs> I may have heard that song, because I think I've heard a little mix of... It's uh, apparently been blowing up. On, it's a TikTok song, okay, too. Okay, all right. You know, that's how this stuff starts now, is people using it TikTok. Yeah.